NBC 739 News at 4.30. Well, local researchers have just made a scientific breakthrough in understanding the most common insect-borne disease in this country. Lyme disease. We're not talking about, you know, limes or lemons. It's Lyme with a Y. And the research is now in the online version of the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Dr. Mitchell Cronenberg is the president and scientific director of the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology. Thanks so much for being here. You're welcome. Let's remind people if they're not familiar with Lyme disease. Not most common in San Diego compared to some places, but tell us what it is, the <clears throat> symptoms. Well, actually, it's an infectious disease. So you get it when you're. Uh, uh, when, the tick, when a tick bites you, but it's actually bacteria that cause it. And the symptoms are generally arthritis, can be carditis, in other words, heart problems, and neurological problems, and fatigue. And it can get pretty serious if it, if it goes on, I understand, as it well. It can get, be quite serious if it's not treated. So really. let's, let's talk about what you really look at and what is really new to this whole thing. And it's natural killer T cells, NK T cells, which sounds really nasty and horrible. Mm -hmm. Tell me what those are and what you've been looking into. Well, we have many types of white blood cells that protect us from infection, and natural killer T cells are one type. And they're special because they recognize foreign glycolipids. Glycolipids are just fat and sugar. And a lot of white blood cells recognize proteins, but these cells are special because they recognize some other part of an invading bacterium or, or other organism. And you looked at, at this in mice, and you found that this is really important to understand these natural killer T cells right. when it comes to Lyme disease, because why? Well, what we Several years ago, in fact, we found that natural killer T cells in mice and humans recognize the same glycolipids. But in mice, we could do experiments where we induce disease and where we ask if natural killer T cells can limit the disease. And that's what we found in vivo, in other words, in living mice, that mice with natural killer T cells were much more resistant to getting what we call Lyme arthritis in particular. So in the lab, I know this is a big discovery, very important. When we look at the real world, how does this translate for a patient that does have some really serious problems with Lyme disease? How can you make this into something better for them? Yeah. Well, I think the main way to treat patients, at least early on, is with antibiotics. Because mm -hmm. remember, these are bacteria. But what we do hope is that by stimulating both the white blood cells that see proteins and the ones that see fat and sugar or glycolipids that we've discovered, that, that Combining those two, we may be able to make better vaccines or perhaps even immune therapies for antibiotic-resistant cases, of which there may be some. And maybe for other diseases as well? Right. A number of infectious diseases like strep pneumonia that causes pneumonia in, in both older people and infants may be treatable with glycolipids, and glycolipids in particular that activate natural killer T cells. Well, the science behind it all can get pretty confusing, but thanks for breaking it down for us. and. and explaining just what NKT cells are all about. You're very welcome. We Thank appreciate you. it. Susan?